Thank you for viewing this educational program. This module discusses the care of an indwelling urinary catheter. An indwelling urinary catheter is a thin, flexible tube that drains urine from your bladder into a drainage bag. Indwelling means that the catheter stays in your bladder for a length of time. How much time will depend on your specific needs. A catheter is needed when normal urination is disrupted by such things as an enlarged prostate, surgery on the pelvis or urinary tract, infection, bladder stones, injury, or incontinence, which is the inability to control urination. One end of the catheter is inserted into your bladder through the urethra, the channel that carries urine from the bladder to the outside. The other end of the catheter connects to a tube, which then connects to a drainage bag. In this presentation, the catheter, tube, and bag together is referred to as simply the catheter. There are two types of drainage bags, and you may be given both. One is a large night bag, and the other is a small leg bag. The smaller leg bag can be worn during the day, as it attaches to the leg by elastic bands and therefore fits discreetly under clothing. The larger bag can be worn day or night. You can ease the weight of a heavy drainage bag by taping or pinning the drainage tube to yourself, your clothes, a chair, or the bed. When pinning, make sure the safety pin goes over the tube and not through it. Care of the catheter means properly draining, cleaning, and handling it, controlling its odor, and helping urine to flow. The following slides will discuss care of the catheter in more detail. First, it is important that urine flows freely into the bag. Make sure there are no kinks or loops in the tube, and make sure that the bag is below the level of your bladder. This keeps urine flowing downhill, away from the bladder. A valve on the bag prevents urine from going back into the tube. To check the valve, turn the bag upside down and make sure that no liquid flows into the tube. Discard the bag if this valve is faulty. Empty the drainage bag into the toilet as often as needed, or at least every eight hours. Proper hygiene will help prevent bacteria growth, spread, and infection. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water before and after handling any part of the catheter. Every day, clean the skin around the catheter insertion site, called the urinary meatus, and clean the surrounding genital and rectal areas. In addition to cleaning the body, cleaning the catheter itself is also important. First, each time you attach the tube, clean the tip of the tube with an alcohol swab. Also, clean inside the drainage bags daily. Wash with liquid detergent and warm water, rinse with cool water, and hang to dry. You can also clean the outside of the catheter as often as necessary. To help remove odor from the drainage bag, rinse the bag with a solution of one quarter cup of vinegar in one cup of water. Drinking plenty of water daily will help keep urine flowing freely. The recommended amount of liquid consumption is approximately 10 glasses per day. It is okay to have a bath or a shower with the catheter in place. You may feel more comfortable showering, and your doctor may actually prefer that you shower the first few times. It is also okay to have sexual activity with the catheter in place. Women can tape the tube to their stomach, while men can fold the tube back along the erect penis and secure it with a condom. Call for help if you have a fever, if you have chills, if you have pain in your side, lower back, or bladder. If you have an upset stomach or a throwing up, you have a bloody, brown, cloudy, or smelly urine. If you have urine with clumpy pieces in it, if urine is leaking around the catheter, if the catheter has fallen out, or if there's been no urine in the bag for eight hours. If you need help, you can call your local health authority, your caregiver, or your doctor. Thank you again for viewing this educational program.